Anywhere Fitness with April, you are here to work the biceps and the triceps. So your biceps are going to get a nice challenging workout along with those triceps. So we're gonna consider that arm work. So we're gonna do a quite a bit standing and then we are gonna actually, I have my mat, I'm gonna come down to the floor and then we'll do some work on the floor as well. Just kind of changing some angles, getting some different um, work through uh, some intense um, gravity that we can um, maybe challenge our bodies even in body weight style. All right, so let's have a good time. I have my heavy set of weight, which I'm gonna use tens today. Um, feel free to switch out. Maybe you wanna start with something heavier if you have it, and then you can switch out. Um, so just you know, line up your weights, get everything all set, and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna take my arms, I'm gonna extend them out, I'm gonna turn my thumbs down and get the heel of my hands, pushing back, and I'm gonna start a left arm circle, and then a right kind of pushing the heel of my hand as I go back. Up, bring it back. You should feel that stretch through those biceps. Take it up. Give me two more here. Just getting those arms ready. One more each arm. Yeah, thanks for showing up for me today. Take those arms out. I'm gonna have you turn your palms up, palms down, heel the hand back. And palms up, heel the hand and back up. And exhale and inhale. Give me four more right here. And three. And two. Last one. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my thumbs up. I'm going to cross in and pull back palms up. Turn those palms up right here. That's it. Feel those biceps. Give me two more like this. Now this time I want you to hold it out, turn those palms up, and you're going to pull in, extend out. In and extend four, and three. Nice strong legs, soft knees, tight glutes, two, one more. Great. Now I'm going to have you bring those elbows in, take those forearms in. I'm going to have you lift those elbows up, and we're going to go into runner arms right here. Power back. So I'm hinge position. Good. Just kind of warming up my lats, because when you work with triceps, you are going to have those elbows lifted, and those lats are going to be involved. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to extend that arm and then I'm going to switch, switch, switch. Yes, one straight, one bet. Power, power, power. Yes. All right, let's see how much we can, intensity we can create today. So it's just biceps and triceps. That's it. Okay. So we're going to keep that focus on those arms. Really work deep into those muscle groups. Four, three, two, one, and drop. Good, now triceps are a little weaker than the biceps because the biceps we use every day, picking up things. So if you feel weak in the triceps, remember you can always switch out to that lighter weight if needed at any time. Stop and rest, keep that heavy, stop and rest, and then see what you can do. We are going to start with the biceps. I'm gonna have you pick up that heavy set of weight and let's say, I want to go, I want to get started. All right, so soft knees, tight glutes. I want you to retract your shoulders. So lift them up, pull them back. Now let them settle down, feel that upper back engage. Good, now think about how you feel those abs right here. Keep them tight. We're gonna lift both arms halfway and down. The work has begun. Here we go, up and down. Find that halfway point. Now when we're working biceps, our upper arm needs to stay stable. So you'll lose intensity if you pull your elbow forward like this. So if you pull the elbow out of alignment. So we wanna keep that elbow right under the shoulders. So it's good to kind of look down and make sure that the arm hasn't popped forward, okay? So right here. So feeling that tension build already. <sighs> Abs in tight. Shoulders are back. Keep that chest up. That really helps with your posture. Kind of almost ensures that those abs are staying in control. You got 10 more seconds. Perfect. Now I'm gonna have you come up, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna take your left arm up, stop, then right, and stop. So we're going from halfway up. Now this is where, when you go up, 
that your elbow's gonna wanna really pop forward right here. Don't let it. So look at how when I come up, my hand doesn't actually come in and touch my shoulder. I don't have to come in that far. Just ensuring here, upper arm stability. All right, and posture. So we're working through those abs as we hold steady, hold strong, and hold this position. Yes, up, down, up, down. Feel free to turn some music on. If you'd like to get some music going, feel a little beat. Feel the tension building, you got 15 seconds, then you're gonna drop both arms. Perfect. All right, now, take both arms all the way down. Now, left arm comes up and down, right arm comes up and down. Now we have a little more range. Once again, check your elbow. Don't let it pop forward. So notice when you come down to the bottom, you have your arm lengthened. I'm keeping my palm forward. With my palm forward like this, I'm keeping some tension on the bicep. <sighs> Whatever it takes to kind of just create just a little extra intensity, right? All the way up, all the way down. <sighs> now when you're coming down, we're trying not to fall, we're trying to lower the arm. <sighs> so we have control up, control down. That's the way. Now we're gonna do full range with both arms. Gonna give me two more singles. Now we're gonna work both arms. We're gonna go two counts up right here. Here we go. Up, two, and down. Two, and up. That's it, and down. Creating that intensity in that that upper arm, I always think of it, the bicep is the belly of the arm, right there. Tight and strong. If you fatigue, do two counts to halfway up. Another option, do single arm. Got 30 more seconds. Feeling the tension, up, up, and down. You got it. That's the way. All right. Work through. Tension, building. Yes. Last time. Up and down. Now you're gonna go halfway. Left arm, come down. Halfway, right arm, come down. Squeeze. Now kind of get a little hold there. Hold it, drop it. Tighten it drop it and make sure the arm isn't pulling from outside to in so make sure the arm isn't doing this ensure the arm stays against the side the whole time I always draw the inside of my elbow in before I even lift to ensure my arm doesn't leave it makes it a lot harder much better for that elbow joint and your shoulder too, without that upper arm moving. How are we feeling? Getting there? Tension on. All right. Now, I'm gonna have you go into a hinge position, two more. Now, I'm gonna have you drop and we're gonna hinge. Palms are out. Now, you're gonna go left arm, curl, and then right, up, down. So make sure you have a good knee bend. Now remember, I mentioned that we were gonna work different angles and with some different gravity challenges. So here's one right here, getting that bent over form, feeling the hanging in the arms. Now, trying to create stability in the arm right there by not letting that arm pull up. So don't let the lats Engage and lift the arm. So I feel a lot of core here from that position. My hips are back, chest is out. Up and down. Just keep it strong, you guys. Don't be afraid to rest. Don't be afraid. You got four and three and two 
and one, and come up, release. All right, grab your mats. Come on down to a knee. It's gonna have you take a knee. I want you to grab, so I have my right leg forward, and I have that weight in my left hand. Okay, now I'm just gonna lean forward. So same position that we were just in, right? Now I'm gonna have you take this right hand, put it behind, I have my knuckles, the back side of my hand against my upper arm. Now I'm gonna lift and lower. So now my upper arm is very stable, upper body forward, getting that gravity, getting that full range, and then single arm isolation here, and up. Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the angle of your hand. Our palm has been up all this time. Now for 30 seconds, turn the palm in. Do hammer curl, palm in. So when you come down, the palm's still in. Use that hand against the upper arm. How does it feel? Should be getting tougher. We got 15 seconds. Now every time you come up, pull your abs in. Keep your shoulder back. Right there. You're making it. You just have two more. Right here, here's one. And drop. And two, control the down. Right there, good. Now we're just gonna change. Okay, upper arm, knuckles against that arm, lean forward, palm up, here we go, up and down. So notice how slow I'm going, really controlling each lift, each lowering phase. <sighs> Let those belly buttons pulled in, shoulders back. Look how long that arm gets. It's hanging from the shoulder. Bicep out. All right. Now turn the palm in here. Power up. Down. Up. And down. So we have no momentum. We don't have any legs helping us. <laughs> Getting closer, guys. Yes. Tension on. One more right here. You can do it. And drop. Now take both arms out, thumbs down, heel the hand pushes out and away. Now we're gonna have you stay, if it's comfortable for your knees, on the floor right here. You're gonna pick those weights up. We're gonna be grounded. So, less chance of moving here with our knees down. Got those lower legs out behind you. Knees hip distance. Pull your shoulders back. You're gonna go up slow center, and then we're gonna swoop and we're gonna go out to the corner. Now squeeze your glutes and feel your body not move. Only thing moving right here is your arms. So when we really focus, find that isolation that you can achieve here. It makes it a lot harder, I know, but results a lot greater. Yeah, come on. And out. Keep the chest up. Big squeezes. And out, getting both angles, palms up. Feeling those bodies, not leaning forward. Especially when you're at the bottom, the chest is up, helping you stay in position. Good, got that upper back, staying strong. Yes, okay, you got 15 seconds. Feel those belly buttons pull in. Come on, you got it. And in, and down, and up. All right, got one more to the corner right here. Take it out and then come down halfway and hold it. Whew. Hold it. Okay, now bring the arms narrow, hold. Whew. My arms are 
So fatigued. Oh my gosh. Five, four, three, two, drop. You're going to rest. You're going to do that one more time. You're going to go out to the corners. You're going to hold for 15 seconds. Say I can. Are you willing? Able? Let's try it. See? You had a little rest. Don't you feel good? I know. You still feel it though. Sometimes rest can really help in your training. You can do a little bit more with a little bit of rest. Come center. It's okay. Talk. Talk yourself through it. Say, I can, I can, I will, I will. Five seconds. Four, three, two, drop. One more time, guys. Get a quick roll. Keep roll. Quick roll. Drop down. Okay, turn it out. Okay, you have 30 seconds left of biceps. Up 15, hold. Out we are. Out we are, making sure that your hands aren't gripping too tight. <sighs> we can do this, right? <sighs> and come in, that rest made it possible. You're able to just shake it out and then get back in for a little extra. All right, I know. The extra is done in four, in three, in two, and drop the arms. Okay, thumbs down, heel the hand out. Okay, biceps, check. All right, what's up next? Triceps. All right, arm circle. Let it out, let it out. All right, now we are gonna come to standing first. So I'm gonna have you take one foot forward. Stand up, stand up. Okay, now. Gonna grab one weight. Gonna have it in your left hand. Slip my mat over a little bit. We'll be back down in just a moment. All right, so we're gonna take, so you have it in your left hand, right legs forward, left leg back. Now I'm gonna come up on my heel just slightly, keep my knee bent, and I'm gonna start extending. So it's gonna be a single arm tricep extension. Call this a tricep kickback. All right. Single arm working heavy weight, right? <sighs> Take it back. So with single arm, you have, you have less upper back workload. So right here, got that arm elevated, you have lats at work, but right in between those shoulder blades, you shouldn't feel too, too much tension. <sighs> Okay, work through. You're gonna work through 15 more seconds. Now notice that I'm not bringing my weight all the way in, because then that's gonna drop my elbow. So I'm keeping my elbow up. So just like in bicep, upper arm stays isolated. All right, now the other arm is ready. We switch, hand down, heel up, hinge, go. So elbow comes up, elbow up, and go. Yeah. So glad you're willing to, willing to take challenge. Always trying your best. That's all you can ask of yourself. These type of workouts are great. You can just completely focus on one thing. A lot of times we're trying to do compound moves and get the most out of our strength training. So you might be doing lunges while we're doing triceps. But now all you have to think about is moving that arm, right? It's kind of a nice release to really just get deep into this training. All right, one more. Send it back, drop the arm, come up and roll it out. Well done. All right, now you're gonna take the weight back into the left hand. We're gonna split those legs apart again. Okay, now I'm gonna take my elbow up. Now I'm gonna extend and I'm gonna hold for three, two, one. Now we're gonna go 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So we have what? Multiply the intensity by three. One, two, three. Bring it in. One, 
two, three. You should be really hanging on, right? One, two, three. So when I say this is your last one, you're glad. One, two, three. All right, other side, elbow high. One, two, three. Abs in, one, two, three. One, two, three, you got it. One, two, three. Isolation, two, three. Oh yeah, so good. One, two, three, this is your last one. One, two, three, drop. All right, we are gonna go down to the floor. We are actually gonna work body weight first before we move back into some more weights. So I'm gonna have you go onto your knees here. Okay, alignment's gonna be really important. We're gonna walk out, have those hands be right underneath the shoulders. So we do wanna have our hands open slightly. I go a touch wider than shoulder distance, and then I'm gonna push my chest through my arms. I'm gonna bend my elbows back. I'm gonna drop my hips down and come up. Now, see how far down you can go. Coming down, coming up, and down, and up. So maybe you drop halfway down and come up. But just make sure that the elbows point behind you. So I always call this a little grasshopper. Come down and come up. Each time you come up, you should feel an additional challenge. Shoulders back. Now think of your elbows squeezing in as you come up. So you have some assistance from back. Tight abs here, so some core work. Two more. One more. And come up. All right, shake out those arms. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, now we're gonna do all fours. So in all fours, you're gonna have your knees right underneath your hips, hands right underneath the shoulders. Now you're gonna do the same thing you just did. Bend the elbows, they're gonna to bend towards your thighs, towards your hips, and you're gonna drop the top of your head down and come up. Bring your chin in, top of the head down, and come up. Here we go, top of the head, so focus on getting that curvature. Bring that chin in as you drop down. Here we go, down. Now when you get down and your head is almost on the floor, <laughs> kind of hold there for a little second. How about that little second? Did you like it? Come down and up. So we wanna tuck the chin in and keep the work in the triceps by bending those arms and come up, and drop, and lift. Little hold. You remember, if you can't go all the way down and all the way up, then you do a small bend and come up. So your chin's still gonna tuck. So what's happening here is we have that head adding extra weight as we come down. Four. Start it up. Kind of easy, didn't it? Do you feel it now? And two. And one. And come up. Now take those arms out. Shift the hips back, opening the knees just slightly and go to child's pose, foreheads down. Just think of pulling those arms back from those hands. Should feel the stretch in those triceps and those lats. Should feel really good. All right, now we're gonna come up. We're gonna be in all fours again, peekaboo, all fours again, and we're gonna do that kickback. So just like we did when we were in our biceps, when we came down to the floor, we did a little more isolation by being grounded, but also adding gravity to it. So if you just take that weight down, find your all fours, okay? Now bring your elbow up, so you're gonna have your lats at work as well. Elbow tucked in. Here we go, extend, come in. Now make sure that the weight 
doesn't come too far in, stop it. Out and stop. Now every time you go back, think of your abs pulling in and your elbow of your supporting arm is soft. So don't let it lock out. Don't be afraid to rest. We feel the additional gravity challenge right here. Come on, let's go. Send it back, send it back. We're going for length, trying to take any swing out of it. Hang in there, you'll have 15 seconds left. I know you're with me, I know you're challenged. You're not giving up. Wow, lots of core, huh? Last one, and bring it down. Wow, shake it out. Now that arm gets to hold you up. Oh, the benefits. Oh, we just love the benefits. All right, so retract the shoulders. Pull the abs in. Elevate that arm, ready? Soft elbow, here we go. Push back. Getting that length. All the way back. You're doing awesome. We're gonna be on our backs next to finish up. I hope you felt this isolation work today. Come on, send it. I always think about it, prepare for it mentally, then go through it physically. Last one. Oh, well done. Okay, shake it out. I call this noodle arms, right? Okay, we're gonna come onto our backs. Arms are going to be located directly above the shoulders. So on your backs, arms up. Now, you're gonna bend those elbows, they're gonna to go toward the hips, and then we're gonna come right back up. Here we go, down, up. Tricep press, down and up. Abs are in tight. Think of the triceps lifting the arms. So remember, think about the muscle as you're performing the movement. Think about it. Power it. Isn't it amazing when you start thinking about it? Didn't you feel it that much more? And then plus, that blood flow is in that muscle group. We've been pumping, those arms are feeling it. Oh yes. Now turn your palms in, drop down, come up. Come down, come up. Keeping your backs against the floor. Almost there. Try to go straight up, straight up. Now we're gonna hold it up. Now we're gonna go two counts. We're gonna bend and the, by, you have, the weights are gonna go right by those ears and then we're gonna come back up straight. Now if it feels too heavy, you can go to your lighter weight or go slower or single arm. Here we go. Two counts down, two counts up. It should be very challenging. This is your last move. These are very isolated. That upper arm doesn't move. You can feel that tricep. At length, we're working through. Pull those abs in. Look outward towards your knees as opposed to the ceiling. Keep that neck from extending, down and up. How's the arms, are they shaking? Woo! You got this. And up, and down, and up. I'm hoping you're sticking it with me, sticking with me right here. Any way you can, single arm, resting, even if you go to a press again, you got two more here. Oh my gosh, can we do one more? Right here. Oh. Legs up, sit up, 
weights down. Oh, come to those knees for me. Shake those arms. You did it. All right, bring that arm up. Big stretch. Going to bend the arm. Tricep stretch. Just kind of gently pull just beyond that elbow. And then you can do a side release because those lats work too. I know you did it. Other arm. Somehow, some way, we worked our way through it. Did it together. Proud of you. Boy, I think my armpits are tired. <laughs> well, bring it down and let it drop. So good. Shake it out, shake it out. Then go to the heel of the hand right here. Push back. Ah. And then take that left arm across. Drop that shoulder. Hold that arm in here. And take it to the other side. And drop that arm. Working your way through different um, amounts of your, your weights, your, your different uh, poundage. So, Think about how you were challenged today. Open those arms. Did it somewhere in that workout, was it maybe a little easy? So this would be a great one to repeat and maybe do a heavier weight in some of the areas and then you can always switch out if you need to. Let's go ahead and come to standing here and come up. So it's just always being aware of continuing to be challenged. Shake out those arms. I always want you to move forward with your strength and fitness level, so just always trying to encourage you. All right, so this is gonna do it. Biceps, triceps, double thumbs up. We got it done today. Give me a like, give me a share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you're not one of my subscribers, I'd love to have you. And then hit that bell button too, so when I put in new content, you will be alerted. All right, I think it's been fun. I hope you had a good time. And I hope to see you soon. We did those arms today. Come on, give me a big muscle. Big muscle. Awesome work. Take care.